It's only going to cover a minority of families. And we can do a lot better. Tonight, an upstate mother and her allies say they are setting the record straight on exactly how many children living in kinship care would actually benefit from a bill that's now in the state house. The, the kinship care bill is in the house after passing through the Senate with promises of bringing financial support to tens of thousands of caregivers. You were talking about the same money that foster care families receive to help care for children in DSS protective custody. Our Ben Hoover is here at 7 on Main tonight with a closer look at this bill. And Ben, advocates are saying now this bill will only help out a fraction of the kids that really need the help? Amy, that's what they say. The number you may have heard is 74,000 children. These are the kids removed from their homes by the state because of addiction or abuse or neglect now being cared for by family members. People who stepped in to keep children together and out of protective custody. The bill sponsor says it will help them, just like foster families, but some say it leaves out too many families. Naturally, as a family, you want to step in to help. Four years ago, Sarah Wallace got a call from social services that would forever change her family dynamic. They told us that the kids were going to be put up for adoption if somebody in the family didn't step up. After much prayer, she and her husband stepped up, becoming kinship caregivers for her nieces and nephews who had been living with foster families for a year. We um, received custody of five, of five of my sister's children and added them to our four. Going from four to nine children, Sarah says, meant taking on a lot financially and emotionally. It's only going to cover a minority of families. But Sarah says after trying over the past four years, navigating the complicated process, her efforts brought no help. And the help that's being promised by the kinship care bill at the state house now, she says won't help her much either or other kinship care families. The hope was that there would be programs, there would be benefits, there would be resources for these kids to support them through the trauma that they had been through. Kim Clifton, director of HALOS, the only nonprofit in the state that helps kinship families, says Sarah's right. The majority of children end up in kinship care informally, meaning that they don't get taken into protective custody. Clifton applauds Senator Katrina Sheely's bill that expands the definition of kinship providers to close family friends, but it's not aimed at helping the vast majority of kinship families. Because they're family, they step in first. They don't ask, what, what support will I get? How will you help me? They just take the kids. From what I've seen in the families I've met, the majority of kinship cases um, are not done through DSS. They're called off the books kinship families. Those who step in the moment the children are removed from their homes, the children never taken into state custody. Currently there aren't services offered to those families and that happens. So for every one child placed in foster care into protective custody, 20 children are placed in the care of a relative. We can't lose sight of all those other children who are placed in families who were not prepared to take them, who are struggling and who need support. I followed back up and spoke with Senator Sheely from Columbia today. She said the bill reads if a kinship provider isn't already a licensed caregiver, they will be able to start the process. And that's where the money and the other support becomes available. But Kim Clifton, as you heard her say, that will only happen if it's communicated to these parents on a local level. The county caseworkers laying out all the options. She says that's not necessarily happening. We're live from downtown Greenville, Ben Hoover, 7 News.